the lesson. Come on, stop. 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 You see that, right? Okay, take a deep breath. I'll be back. When neighbors turn into Karens, everyday life can feel like a non stop showdown. Drop them. Dropped his yeah. pants at us. He has smashed his wife's windshield. Bitch, you ain't come out! I ain't getting this shit! Then she came back and stood in front of my house and said, I'm gonna f you and your whole family up. Explain why you'd be placed under arrest for obstruction. I literally don't have none on me. I literally don't have none on me. From ignoring property lines to disregarding noise rules, these individuals seem to believe they're above the law and don't mind making it everyone else's problem. I'm going over here out of the no, you're lights! Not. You're not anywhere. So I don't give a f I'm doing what's good for me. Wait till my brother comes. Oh, you done f***ed up, you dumb I bet you won't be f***ing at um, Your husband's not going to work because yeah. of his outburst. Because he doesn't want to leave me alone. Sorry. Today, we're diving into the wild world of entitled neighbors who push boundaries just a little too far. So I don't give a f I'm doing what's good for me. Stop, get off me. Our story begins with a woman who clearly didn't get the memo about keeping it cool. After a perceived slight at a store, she decides that arguing with her neighbors in the parking lot is the perfect way to spend her day. Cue the dramatic eye rolls from bystanders, including a sweet older lady who probably just wanted to enjoy her day without becoming a part of this live soap opera. It makes you wonder, is there a diploma for how to make a scene? Because she's clearly acing the course. She my mom Thank you. Get out my face. Don't my what I'm about to do. Come on, it ain't no come here. It's no come here. I want to f them up. I don't care. I don't care. The lights bother me. Get the lights out of my face. Come over here. I got epilepsy. Do you hear me? I hear you. I have to see what's going on. Grandma, step away. You're bleeding out of hands. What happened? But get the lights out of my face. You're not listening. I have to see what's going on. I'm going over here. out the lights. So I don't give a f. I'm doing what's good for me. Stop. Get off. It hurts. Let her see in the dirt. Shut the f. Can you stop? Just relax. You're you bleeding. want to listen? All right, well, you need to listen right now. You need to listen. Come on, stop. 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 You can't do it, huh? You can't do it, huh? Right, you're just gonna get hurt. Yeah. Just when you think it couldn't get any better, she reveals she's cut herself during the altercation. Surprise. The cops arrive and immediately request an ambulance. You've got to love how self-inflicted drama can escalate a situation. I mean, who needs a Netflix subscription when you can watch reality unfold right in front of your eyes? But seriously, let's take a moment to appreciate the officers trying to calm her down while dealing with a situation that's already taken a turn for the ridiculous. Get your hands behind your back. Not playing around with you. Enough. We'll work on it a second. No. Back up. Back the up. Back the up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. I know I'm trying to do my job. So what? That's why you gonna get in trouble. They jumped off her. 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 They jumped I ain't okay. shouting at nothing. You get me up. This your job, right? Need an ambulance to 17 Crystal. Get me up there. Right, female bleeding. Intoxicated. Yeah, you get me up. I'm under arrest. You get me right. up. Y'all didn't have no kids jumping in there. Right. Oh, you done fed up, you dumb. I bet you won't be fing that dick. I bet you won't be fing that dick no more. You sit there and you your brother, you f your sister, baby, dad. You nasty. I f with Lily. I f with Lily. Get back to I don't get in the house. I ain't f my brother.
brothers. But I'm dead. Make up your mind. I'm even gay on fucking with me. Sister, baby, dad, and the brothers. As if the universe hasn't had enough fun yet, our star decides to turn her frustration toward the officers. She demands to be released and accuses another woman of stalking her. Classic projection, folks. It's like watching a toddler throw a tantrum but with the stakes raised a bit. Did she really think the cops would just let her go because she's having a bad day? Let's be real these officers aren't exactly in the mood to be a part of her personal drama. Not only do the officers have to manage the situation, but they also need to ensure the well-being of everyone involved, including the individual who is acting out. You nasty Wait, huh, let's talk about that. You you being sick. Her phone oh. is in her pocket. Hella medication. Hella medication. Her phone ain't. So what? But I'm still here. Right. But you still get scared. Get in the car. Get in the car. You still scared. Get in the car. You ain't come get out. Get in the car. I ain't getting this shit. Get in the car. Put me in the car. Relax. I'm trying to help you. Please get in the car. Are you? Yes, I am. Can you please just listen to me? Please. All right. Please get in the car. Please just get in. Relax. Relax. Please get in the car. Please. Get down in the car, Marty. Okay, take a deep breath. I'll be back. We don't know. I just got here. Yeah. I don't live she out here. She also came up with a knife and she's bleeding from the hand. So obviously, no, no, now I'm she's kicking here. my car. Can okay. you get your ID? No, because I don't. You Stop. ain't about to just sit there and hear them talk of no bull. You're doing my job. And my Stop. mom. Then I ain't leave my mom. Stop. Stop. Put your feet in. God damn it. She's going to fuck that car up. So what happened with the store? Okay. If you go around here and get footage, they will show you. I'm not, I can't get it. If you need footage, if I need footage, I need to know how to get it. But what okay, happened was... Prepare to hear the jaw-dropping story from a beleaguered neighbor about the outrageous behavior of someone they call a neighbor. It's a reminder that not everyone is truly welcome in each other's neighborhoods. I'm in the store, okay? I'm already in the store. She comes in with her nephew. So I'm standing here looking, not, not seeing her come in. She brushed past me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what you do that for? She all like this on me. Mm -hmm. she, and she says to me, the only reason why I ain't fucking you up right now, because you were old lady. And she followed you back here? No, no. We both live on the street. Okay. So then she came back. Then she what? came back uh -huh. and stood in front of my house and said, I'm going to fuck you and your whole family up. Okay. She continues to disrupt police operations, insisting they get her home faster. Newsflash. The police aren't your Uber service. Her inability to comprehend this fact could have serious repercussions. In Trenton, New Jersey, aggravated menacing and assaulting an officer are serious offenses. A conviction for aggravated menacing can result in up to 18 months in prison and substantial fines, while assaulting an officer can lead to a longer sentence, depending on the circumstances. Maybe next time, she'll think twice before unleashing her inner diva. Get me out of here, bud. Get in the fucking car and drive. Cool. We're going chill. What? in your Okay. Okay, Miss Barry. Drive. We're drive. Put the car in drive. It's in drive. Put the car in drive. Capital, Capital Health Regional Crisis in route with one female under arrest. Hey, 30 miles, 39, 2, 5, 3, 2. Drive. I can't go through it. Stop. Drive. You're just going to catch more charges. Drive. Stop. Get me where I'm going so I can get. I'm going there. Stop. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty, all the kids and men trying to hook back together again. Calm down. Nah, he's calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Look, I'm calm. Calm down. I can like this Calm down. I'm just, I just want you to relax. Don't grab my shirt. It's already up. Ultimately, she faces multiple charges, including aggravated menacing, assault on an officer, and resisting arrest. And here's the million dollar question. What do you think could have been done differently to prevent this spectacular train wreck? How can we promote a culture where folks don't turn minor squabbles into epic dramas? Share your thoughts below, and let's hope this lady learns that keeping it cool is always in style.
From a shocking attempt on her neighbor's life, stemming from a simple misunderstanding to an even more sinister tale, let's delve into the story of an extremely creepy neighbor who terrorized the community for the last time. Yeah, he walked right out his and door, he just dropped, him? dropped his yeah. pants. How many times inside. have we been out here in the last month? Uh, about five times. On November 12, 2022, when police received multiple complaints about a local man who had been causing quite the stir and not the good kind, exposing himself and causing disturbances for days on end. This gentleman seemed to believe he was auditioning for a role in a horror movie. He wasn't making any friends in the neighborhood. Who knew the front yard could be such a danger zone? Why are we all high strung? You out here smoking cigarettes? I'm in my coffee, sir. Did you call? Uh, she probably did, but oh, I got not going to talk to me. Are you involved in the situation? Obviously, they seem to have a problem with him. Wait over there, I'll come talk yeah, to you. Yeah, they can wait over there, too. Yeah. You want to talk to him? Yeah, yeah. What's your name? You I'm, know that. No, I, I do not. I'm new here. I don't know your name. I don't know why these people got to get in my business all the time. I haven't done a goddamn thing. So you don't seem like you're doing anything wrong? My wife is in the hospital. I'm like going through a lot of just need to stay the out of my business. Okay. And that's what I'm going to tell you right now. Okay. So you're just here minding your own business. It yeah. looks like you're just minding your own business. It's my okay, okay. I'll do what the f I want okay, to. Okay, that's here. cool. Yeah. You all. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on, brother. Hey, sir, come here. Sir. Hey, come here. Don't touch me. Do not Relax. touch me. You're going to go to jail for disorderly conduct. Don't come here. Talk to me like that. No, yes. I'm dead ass with you, bro. You're out Why? here cussing and screaming. We're clearly yeah, here I'm investigating in my... something. Don't I'm trying to be on the ground. You understand me? Stop. Nice. You stop. Get on you. Uh, do you mind and let me do it? Thank you. Appreciate your concern. Appreciate it. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Yeah. Have a seat. I didn't do anything wrong, man. I'm sitting here at my own house. I can do whatever the f I want here, man. Why the f bothering me? Why? When confronted by officers, our protagonist insisted he was just minding his own business. Seriously? Someone needs to inform him that when your business involves flashing your junk, it's time for a reality check. His aggressive responses only fueled the situation, demonstrating a classic case of denial mixed with a dash of bravado. I guess he thought that if he yelled loud enough, he could scare the police into submission. But it doesn't work that way. Can I please stand up and smoke a cigarette? Please. Yeah, man, get up. Come on. Whoa. Easy. I got you, so. I you got roll, it. Roll to your knees. All right, there you go. Where's your cigarette at? No, you're not going inside. I don't know. Over there? I got you. Where are I? I don't well, know I got why you guys got to be goddamn so aggressive. Right, I ain't trying to your cigarette at? Right there in the car somewhere. Huh? Oh, my God. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, uh, no, you won't. You got a problem with me? Apparently. No, I think you do. You got a problem with me off the rip. No, I didn't. I sat there and said I'm doing nothing no, wrong. Take these cuffs off. Take them off. Oh, got six. We're gonna have to sort of No, I wasn't. Oh my god. Would you please give me my phone? We'll, we'll go get what's it. Going. She's in the hospital right okay. now, and I don't know how to get off of her. Have a seat. Get off, off me. No. Hi, ladies. Hi, about time we had some help with this. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And I have and uh, thank you. surveillance of him dropping his drawers. Well, okay. She has a child in there. He has a child and he was there. just dropping them right out here? Yeah. He walked right out his and door. He showed, he just dropped, him? dropped his yeah. pants. Showed us his everything. Okay, where is the, where's that camera? Huh? Right, right there. there. Right, see where the, the um, beam is? The beam? See that black little... Oh, yep. It's right facing her it. driveway, but... It, it, Gets everything. Nice. Right. I've got a whole bunch of it right here. It's been four days. He ran in a tree. Look, here it is. I'm sorry. Is look one. at his property. Okay. That he knocked that knocked tree down. He tried right. to lock that down. He ran into his car. As the witnesses chimed in with their accounts of harassment, shouting at children, and behaving like a human tornado, the situation escalated faster than his Instagram follower count. The brave neighbors reported his antics, and rightly so. When indecent exposure and aggressive behavior become part of the neighborhood's daily drama, it's time to call on the cavalry. The law in Charlotte County, Florida, clearly states that indecent exposure can lead to serious consequences, including a second-degree misdemeanor charge with possible penalties of up to 60 days in jail and a $500 fine. 
Let's hope he brought his own snacks for that staycation. Wonderful. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and write down y'all's information, then I'll come back and get statements from you guys. This is the one right here. This is where he starts to strip. What day was this? This That's is now. just now. That was just now? Yeah, yeah. before okay. all this happened. They aren't even home, and he's yelling at him, going over to her I house. There's something off my fence. Look, there he is. And her, she's not even home. Her dogs are in the house. Okay. And he goes back over here. Just give me one second. I'm sorry. No, you're good. That's what we're here for. Then he comes out, and then he just goes crazy. Yeah. yeah. Watch. This time around. And he, this time was he playing music like this last night? Uh, this is all, all, all day, day and night. All night. To antagonize us to say something. What, hands come down? Uh, yeah, he, had a, he has a gun. He has you a shotgun. Confirm he has a gun? I can confirm he had a shotgun. His mother told us that and she had a gun. Did he come outside with look, it? Look, look, look. He came out of the, from the shed, from the shed, with his shotgun by his side walking around the property with his shotgun. But he wasn't pointing it? He, he wasn't saying, hey, I got a gun. But nope. he had a shotgun. Okay. Right in the middle of the street with a baseball bat. Okay. He's coming to yeah. talk to them through the window. Okay. Yep. It's been <clears throat> some, ask him also. That's she lives there. Everybody's been dealing with different okay. incidents. Okay. Oh, good. Hey, ladies, I gotta go run this information. I'll be right back, okay? But wait, there's more. Our charming neighbor had a history of disturbing behavior that made the police call stack up like unwanted mail. Property damage, threats, and general mayhem. It's like he was collecting offenses like they were Pokemon cards. You have to wonder why it took so long for the community to rally together. Perhaps they were waiting for him to give a TED talk on how to alienate your neighbors in 10 easy steps. Um, I usually call when he starts getting violent um, just because I've what seen violent, What's violent as in scripted. very aggressive uh, in nature. Just um, also like you're outside driving talking, the way he pulls in and out of his driveway to the point that I feel like he's going to go into my house. Um, he slams his door uh, really, really rough that I my stuff inside my house, my porch is um, he gets my dogs were usually riled up. Um, I hear him uh, screaming at the kids. There used to be kids that lived there. Um, he used to, they were biracial. Um, he has smashed his wife's windshield. Um, so he is. So usually when I see that he's starting with his wife, I usually just give a heads up to the cops like, hey, it could get really bad. They're How many times inside. have we been out here in the last month? How many times have I called the cops? Sure. Uh, about five times. About five times. He's my fifth time. Usually for the same thing. And he's um, just outside being... He's being aggressive. He's punching his mailbox, uh, swearing. He's smashing his uh, wife's uh, windows. Yelling obscenities or uh, anything like he, that. He screams at his wife. What kind of had, there was, There's always junk on my side, like drinks and stuff like that. So I don't know if it, I don't know what it is. Would you say that like when you're outside, he generally causes you fear? Yes. Last night, he started his stuff again, and at 11 o'clock, I took off all the lights. We both did. This is his second day taking off work because of his outburst. Um, Your husband's not going to work because yeah, of his outburst. because he doesn't want to leave me alone. He goes to work at 3.30 in the morning because he works overnight. Okay. And what has the sheriff's office done for you? Um, absolutely nothing. nothing. The last time I called the police officers, um, they came, uh, placed an anonymous phone call, and they were pointing at my house, so I guess he asked who called. And they were laughing there with him, okay. and they did absolutely nothing. Is he it's, often drunk outside in the yard? He drinks yard? every day in the morning. You can hear it at 6 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning. Sometimes he doesn't go to bed. Um, and then from what I'm understanding is that he uh, started putting up his middle fingers at my house when I wasn't home in his clothes uh, from the front door, taking off his clothes. He took down his pants, exposed his genitals. From his front door? It's on a video. Do you know her? Name? Yeah, What's uh, her name, name is... Lisa, and Lisa his name, yeah. Okay. And then uh, mooned himself and exposed his. And she has kids in there. There's a little boy. He, I think he has to be eight years old. Uh, there's another little girl there. She has to be like maybe 10, 11. Okay. Um, there's another house over there where the sheriffs are parked. There's another there's little girl over there. The there's there's a many children. Is there anything you want to add? No, absolutely not. I wish I could show. I have videos. While our suspect is comfortably seated in the back of the police cruiser, the officers remain focused on their duties. They are diligently taking statements from witnesses, the poor neighbors who have endured his antics for far too long. Because he came over prior, he, he first moved in, we invited him into the, home, into the neighborhood. Sure, of course. And then he started- How long has he lived here? About a little over a year, I want to say, maybe a year. And he's been very violent with his wife. He smashed out windows from her car, smashed out his own windows, called his kids. I've witnessed all this. Um, kids were taken away out of the house. I don't know the. 
I don't know if the lady So he's been, since he's been here, he's been a disrupt, oh, disruptive yes. nature to the neighborhood. He came out in the middle of the road with a baseball bat and called us out of the house the first time he had an episode. How long ago was that? A little, about six months ago, maybe. Okay. Maybe. What happened two days specifically? I started hearing him screeching. He, he pulled out of his, his like car, car tires. Screeching. Okay. And that's what it, I heard okay. it coming down the road. So then I He was accelerating? Got, yeah. He, okay. he heard it. And all of a sudden his car came in. And then all of a sudden I just kept an eye. I was watching from that point on, on my video. Because well, my window was completely shot. What's he doing when he's doing it? Um, he pulled his shirt. I keep him slamming out his door. I have video of all of it. Takes his shirt off, comes over and goes like this to the fence. And then goes back over here. And then Is anybody goes, outside? When he's nobody was even outside. He, wasn't even he was outside of his door. He was... I'll show you. Let me go around the mat. Yeah, you can show it to me. Yeah. Like, I'm just... He was right outside of his door, past Is his that mat. what prompted you guys to call 911? She called 911. I was. She returned? Yeah. Where phone. was he at when you guys called 911? When she called, he was standing out here harassing her. Go ahead and call the cops, is what I heard. And that's when I walked outside on my porch. Because, like, well, all right. <laughs> was he screaming and yelling at her, though? Yes. He, he was at his so, door. He had his loud beer. loud for you to hear inside and then come outside. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. He had it okay. sitting right up on top of his car. He came back up and around. He was right leaning up on the thing, pointing like this at her. She was on the phone with 911, what she was doing. But I saw both of them outside. And so she's talking to you about him not going to work because of the showman's behavior? Yes. yes. We are, like, very close. Okay. Um, right after that is... What did you observe when we got here? I observed that he was very belligerent with you. He tried to stop you from putting his arm around and you dropped him to the ground and handcuffed him and read him his rights and sent him on his way. Okay. And then you took our IDs and... After all, those long-suffering neighbors had put up with his shenanigans for far too long. And now it was their turn to spill the tea on the neighborhood's worst nightmare. All right, listen here, buddy. I'm just doing nothing. Turn your cups around all up. What are you talking about? We're going back behind your back. Oh, take them back out? What do you mean take them back out? I'm back around me. No, I'll see. I'll just see. You can't do that again. Yeah. All right. Good. Turn around for me in your seat. Turn around for me in your seat. No, no, no. You stay in the car. Turn around. Put your foot in. Side. Really? Takes three, you don't it. Takes three, you don't it. Takes one. Buddy. Takes three of it. It's all it takes three. three. No, yeah, really? it does. Because not one of them can handle me. Yeah, you, <clears throat> you think you are? Go ahead. And yeah, now that'll be resisting with violence. You already put me for that. So no. no, now you just caught a felony. Get off my back. Get off my back. <laughs> <laughs> you want to sit up or you want to lay like that? Huh? You want to sit up or lay like that? Oh, yeah. Sit up, please. Your phone or... That sucks. How about that? Good job. Nice work. You guys think you're so much better than you. Oh, you just caused me more work. work. Just so you know, it's two. I didn't do anything. Yeah. Because one of you can't do it. One of you couldn't do it. Ultimately, he was charged with a buffet of offenses, disorderly conduct, indecent exposure, battery on a peace officer, and resisting arrest. Talk about an all-you-can-eat crime spree. He probably didn't see the writing on the wall until it was too late. Let this be a lesson to all. When you're waving your arms at the police, it's best to keep your cool unless you want to end up in a lovely orange jumpsuit. So, dear viewers, what do you think? Should neighborhoods take a stand against such bizarre behavior? Or do we just need to let people express themselves, no matter how, liberally? Have you ever encountered a character like this in your community? Share your tales of neighborly woes in the comments below. From Karen neighbors who ignore the rules to entitled elites who think they can break them, some people just can't seem to grasp that the law applies to everyone. Let's dive into the next chapter of entitlement and its consequences. That's my car! Right. That's it, my car! You didn't have my permission! On February 25th, 2023, staff at a bar in Ohio called the police to report a drunk driver parked in the lot. When the police arrived at the scene, they quickly approached the suspect vehicle. Take 
foot off the gas. How much have you had to drink tonight? 73 to 38. Mm -hmm. Did you realize when I, I approached you, I knocked on that window multiple times, and you, mm -hmm. you were knocked out with your foot on the pedal, and mm -hmm. the gas accelerated. You, you, did you realize what could have happened here? Right. Smoking uh, earlier. Yeah. yeah, when was the last time? Earlier. Uh, it uh, smells like it in the car. After questioning, the police confirmed that the driver had been drinking alcohol and using marijuana earlier. This led the officers to immediately request a sobriety test. In the United States, penalties for marijuana use depend on state regulations. In places where marijuana has been legalized, its use is generally not subject to criminal prosecution, but there are still limits on the quantity and location of consumption. In contrast, in states where marijuana has not been legalized, its use can result in fines, short-term imprisonment, or both. Possession of large quantities or dealing in marijuana can lead to more severe penalties, and driving under the influence of marijuana can also result in criminal charges. I shouldn't drive. Why don't you think you should drive? I shouldn't have been real sir. Like, I, I, I was stupid. I'm sorry. See, but, but if someone walked out and you hit him, man, you'd be going you're through right, a lot, you're lot right, more you're, than what you're, you're right. going through right now. You, you understand? understand? The man was immediately arrested for refusing to take the sobriety test, and this action led to a new development in the story. Stay tuned to see what happens next. Hold on one second, sir. in there, dude. I'm so sorry. You probably not going to jail. I can't make that promise that you can find a ride, you won't go to jail. At that moment, the person identified as his girlfriend appeared, continuously asserting that the car belonged to her and that the police had no right to search it. The situation became more tense as she protested the inspection and demanded her rights regarding the property. Oh my God, what the f going on? That's my car. Okay, well here, I'll- What the f in my car? Start an arrest. You want to be- For what? Then talk- To cut her this right now. Okay. What the f***? I didn't literally know that wrong. No. Why the f***? Hey! Wait, 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 wait. This is you my f***ing car! You have zero reason to search it. Because your boyfriend went with you. For what? He passed out. For what? He was in the driver's seat. Are you shitting me right now? No! He's in, he's in the cruiser! He had his foot on the gas. Why are you in my f***? Because he was in the car, he's operating the car, and he's out on the rest of the road. How? Security footage. Run it. The Run the security footage. Where's the f***ing security footage? Are you f***ing shitting me right now? You search my, that's my car. You didn't have my f***ing permission. Are you want to take your marijuana? Because there's, that's, there's you arrested him. Yeah, there's marijuana in the car. That's my mother. So you want to arrest me for a hundred fifty dollar charge? Go ahead, slap me with the f***ing ticket because it's decriminalized. Criminalized in the state of Ohio. It is decriminalized in the state of Ohio. Is it or is it not? You want to sit here and interrogate me? Is it yours or is it not? Is it or is it? I'm asking you a question. State of Ohio. That's my mother SUV. You don't have my permission to search it. You got any more? I don't need your permission. You're not gonna search my mother car. You need to raise your voice or you're gonna be placed under arrest. For what? For what? You're That's right my car. You do not have my, get a search warrant. That is Man, my f car. That is my f car. You do not have my permission. Go with your you do not have my permission to search my car anymore. We're gonna search your car. You're, you're not gonna search my car. This, For, what? For what? For okay. what? For what? You do right not now, have my listen, car to search. That's my I car. With you. you do not. This. For what? What are you going to arrest me for? What are you going to arrest me for? Obstructing official business. Okay? Obstructing official. For the marijuana. Where? Show me that right with now. The open container show me that. The show me the law. I'll be calm. Okay. I'll walk away. The marijuana is in the car. There's two bags of for marijuana. For marijuana? The car is going to be towed. There's an open container. Okay. Where is the law that you have the right to search my car? I, I just explained that to you. Buds, I'm not going to keep arguing with you. And if you're going to continue to be like this, you're going to be placed under arrest for, for assaulting. What? Okay? For my car. You can do that once we're done. All right? Go ahead. All you right. can search all my shit. Okay. Pull it out right Stop. So if you I'm wanna, telling you if right you now. I'm going to tell you right now. And let us do our job. I'm being calm. That's fine when you search my car because you're not pleasing okay. shit on my Go goddamn boyfriend. Go I'm going to sit, I know, Go I'm going to sit, I'm going to sit right here. Go I'm going to You're not going to sit Why right don't I have the right to search my car? Why don't I have the right to watch you search my car? You do, but you, you can't can. just stay
police discovered marijuana and a number of jars containing suspicious substances in the woman's car, while she continuously resisted and did not let the authorities check the vehicle. This situation forces the authorities to quickly resolve the case while still ensuring compliance with the law in resolving the case. Good. Whatever angle you're at, I'm walking behind you, and I'm out of here. You're not That's why I explain why you'd be placed under arrest for obstructing. I literally don't have none on me. I literally don't have none on me. Nothing is on me. Nothing is on me right now. I want to walk behind you because you're not going to place shit on my goddamn boyfriend. For what? Obstruction of official business. Good, because I have money, baby. We're going to okay. sue the state of Claremont but, County. But the rest, stop. She goes to jail. I literally did nothing. You have no... Put your hands behind your back. Good, good. We're going to have this thing, God. Yes, you are resisting. Yes, you are. Good. Good. Where's the cruiser, huh? Mine's right here. Who's going to take her to jail? Because of my ass, cord, the angle of my vehicle. No, because you're being obstructed. Yeah, okay. Because he's a f***ing jealous. They don't play stroll. Good, though. Place me back in the cruiser, though. Right here. Get the off. The situation became even more tense when the woman claimed she had money, and as she was restrained, she repeatedly engaged in violent behavior and verbally abused the police officers. In her intense reaction, she did not consider the serious legal consequences she might face in the future. Get the Go ahead. Get the Oh, did I? Oh, because we got a right there. The camera's all over around. Yeah, dude. If you kick it, are you are in the car? Where's your mark? Get in the car. Get in the car. Put the seatbelt on. Very important. Ultimately, the woman was charged with offenses including obstruction of justice, resisting arrest, and disorderly conduct. These charges can lead to penalties ranging from several months to a year in prison or fines. Obstruction and resistance can be treated more severely if they result in harm or injury to others. From this case, we need to respect law enforcement, remain calm in stressful situations, and always seek legal advice when necessary. Do you find the woman's behavior in this case outrageous? Share your thoughts with us before we move on to a case of another woman who believed she could not be arrested and deliberately challenged the police officers. Going to jail, unfortunately. Have a seat in the car. There's no charges under anything. On June 25th, the police received an anonymous report about a domestic dispute occurring outside a hotel. When officers arrived at the scene and began questioning the woman mentioned in the report, it was surprising to find that she completely denied any of the events the officer referred to. Ew, who would do that? Um, Were you with someone? I'm from New York, I don't get beat up. No? No? No. Keep driving around, she's advising us. What? <laughs> what? Really? I'm just told that someone was beating up a white female in a white dress and you don't have any shoes on. Shoes? I don't know you, but I'm here to verify with you. No. No. Okay. Uh, no one's touched me. I appreciate I, uh. Can you not hurt? That's a friend. Ew. I would never get touched from anyone. Okay, that's fine. When confirmation came from another witness, the police decided to investigate the woman who was identified as a suspect. However, she continuously asserted her support for the local police department and emphasized her business connections in Dunwoody, attempting to use this as a way to avoid accusations from the police. No one touched me. Okay, well, what's going on out here tonight? No one touched me. I didn't ask that. I asked what's going on tonight. Why do I got like multiple reports that you had a fight with someone out here? <sighs> There's no problem. Well, there is a problem. What is the problem that was called in? Because there's a disturbance between- Stay at the hotel. I've got to drive home. I'm sobering up. Okay. So I'm standing here. Where's home at? Home is in Brookhaven. My daughter has a 17th- Do you have your ID with you? <sighs> We're intoxicated outside. 
and then you're sitting there telling yeah, me that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. And you're telling me anything. that. Well, there was a cause out here. And that's the reason why I'm out here. I'm actually just trying to go home. I can do that too. Okay. But what I'm saying is, just watch out. You got a bunch of pills. It was you. I know you didn't. Go get a job. Really? You had nothing to do with calling this in with you. I support Dunwoody. I I'm not gonna do this. Be some them. I well, made I don't know good who decisions them is, but... to make better for myself. There's my ID. Jesus I'm not driving. <sighs> okay, well, listen to me. I'm going to no, go ahead and take you I'm to jail. Driving. Do you understand me? It does not matter. You are out in the public area. You're intoxicated, and you're one. You're cussing at people. Go ahead and lock her up for, for me. Go ahead. What? You're under arrest right now. For what? For disorderly and disorderly. Angelo. Another charge. Come on. Relax. I'm trying to wait for Uber. I don't care. Relax. I'm Relax. waiting for. Relax. What are you doing, Angelo? He didn't do nothing. I am. Who co I'm just waiting for Uber to go back to Brookhaven. Oh my God! Are, what? What? Seriously, guys, I donate to your salon over at Park Place with the lawns. And okay, really, yes, I donate really. to you. So the thing is, is that when you're cussing at people that walk by that have nothing to do with you, I'm not doing anything. You I was sit just here. Who is he? The person you just cussed at. Oh, oh we can't talk anymore. Carol's behavior became increasingly out of control when she was charged by the police with disorderly conduct while intoxicated, which made it difficult for the police to make a final decision. You may not know that a disorderly drunk charge can result in penalties such as fines, detention, community service, or mandatory alcohol education classes, depending on the severity, severity of conduct, and state-by-state -state regulations. We can't talk to people. I'm you not going to, yes, to jail. I've done you are nothing going to jail. wrong. You're under arrest. Keep pulling away from I am the not. officer. One more time, you're I'm trying to get walk, an Uber walk. home. If you pull away from are the you officer guys one more time. Why? I'm just trying to go home. Well, tonight you go. Is under anything. I'm not going to argue with you about it. Have guys, a seat in the truck. Seriously, seriously, gotta... get in the back of the Tahoe before what you get are you another guys charge. Doing? Oh my god. Seriously? Dead serious. I've done nothing. Okay. I well just then, want to go home. What are you talking about? In the court Slide in, in the truck. You're going to have a court date in August. I want to know the charges right now. I'll tell you when you get influence and obstruction oh. because you're fighting where you're pulling over I'm my trying officer. to go home. You are under arrest. I'm trying to go home. In the back of the truck. Are you guys seriously? Absolutely. <sighs> It is my daughter's. I just came here to. Really? I don't know how many times more I've got to tell you yes, really. Really? Yeah. I don't know what people you're talking about. What is your officer's name? What? Are, who are you? I'm Sergeant Foreman. I donate your, tons what? of money to Dunwoody. So are you trying to go and sit there and say no, that because you donate money, favors, you can go to jail? No, I don't want any favors, but there is to go home. Okay. To go home. You're intoxicated out in public and you're... So what? Okay. Move your foot. After Carol was arrested, her companion arrived at the scene and argued about the arrest. Like Carol, her companion also repeatedly emphasized their contributions to the police department, as if this could help them avoid charges. However, the reality was not so straightforward, and their efforts might not be sufficient to alter the outcome of the case. Okay, and what's going on? That someone said that you were in an altercation with her. All I did not do anything. Oh, see? So someone else called something. Called us, and she was standing there as the only person that matched the description who's in an altercation with. Now saw you two together earlier. She's. <laughs> hey, Carol? Do you have uh, an ID on you, sir? Oh, sure. I have an ID on you. Okay. Um, I do feel that. Sir, so you can talk to me. Why is she being apprehended? Well, I talked to her and she was... Why is she being apprehended? Well, I have not gone over there to talk to my supervisor. She she did nothing okay, wrong. Okay, can I please see your ID? wrong. She's... Jesus Christ, what is going on here? You will find out what's going on with her. Because she, I am not a part is, of the conversation that... She has done nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. She's saying, I don't know what's going on here. Okay. 
That is wrong. Well, I don't know what she told them. So, or she's giving false information. She's, she's probably combative, is she, but... Mm -hmm. Is she drunk? Has she been drinking tonight? Anything for her being... Well, hogtied right there, please. Her in a spot. Oh my God. Our supervisor will come over here and talk to you because that's who was talking to her, was she, our sergeant. We have a hotel room. She can come into here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jesus. I want to understand four men taking a woman down, hogged. And I'm here. I'm here. Where is she? You put her where? And put her where? Yeah, I can tell you, I just saw her. She wasn't hogged. She was in cuffs, absolutely. But she was not hogged. I did not just got her. Okay. I just walked by her. Okay. Whatever her you want to do. Mm. In ship with her. You understand my predicament, right? No, I'm here to try to understand with you. So, like you said, there's not a Who reported it? Who's the so, You want to understand. And I am her. You want to understand. The man accompanying Carol repeatedly challenged the officers, claiming they were treating Carol unfairly. He used defiant and confrontational language, leading police to decide to arrest him. I want to keep that clear, allegedly, right? Isn't that proper? Someone says that something was going on here. But you didn't observe anything, right? Yeah, that's not how it works. Anything going on over here. I, I had but I saw my girlfriend with four officers up. That's what yeah, I most saw. Most likely they found a problem with cause of some sort of crime. I wasn't here for that. But no, all these folks, mm -hmm. yeah, they probably put her handcuffs. What I saw, I saw that. So what, convince what, what, me what's wrong. Your, what's the hog tying you? What's hog tying? Putting her both hands behind her back right. and her feet and using ties to apprehend. Up here just a couple minutes ago, she was walking on her two feet with a handcuffs, metal handcuffs, just like used behind her back. That is what I so, observed. I've been here I'm for wrong. Three years. Okay. All right. Yeah, we don't hog tie. Like you saw, but we didn't I, do that. I have no problem with the police. I love you guys, but this is. So, stand up. Stand up. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. Split your hands. For disorderly under the influence and disorderly conduct. Okay. The witness between you and her, um, her on the corner, and you had her all pinned up against the wall. And Throughout the transport to the station, the woman continuously expressed disgust towards the homeless and showed dissatisfaction with her arrest. However, she was completely unaware that she was facing very serious legal consequences. Really? But you all want to listen to the homeless guy there. Really? You guys are ridiculous. I've done nothing wrong. Just listen to the homeless guy of his bullshit. Phone call, ability to Dunwoody, absolutely. This is, re he parked the car, we came in, I decide to go back to my house, birthday with my aunts and uncles at my house, we are staying here. Why not listen to the, oh God, you guys are big, making a big mistake, big mistake, barred him. I have lawyers, I have lots of people around me. Business has been vandalized through homeless people. You guys are going to listen to these. I'm going to blast this. I'm going to put this in the AJC. I'm going to put this report connected. And this is ridiculous. In Dunwoody? Absolutely. The homeless guy? You just took two people who pay f off. You just took two people away. Jesus Christ, no one hit me. Sometimes you just don't get along. There's cameras right there to the right. Right there. Look up, officer. Challenge you, and I will f***ing sue the f*** out of you guys. I pay you in donation. I do Brookhaven donation. I am salon over at Park Place. I'm friends with Bakery. I am Park Place. You want to f*** with this? I see those cameras right there. I see everything. Do not defund. I am New York. And I believe in the officer. I am a Republican. This. I donate to Dunwoody. I go to Dunwoody Ball. I go to, to you police officers. 
because I believe in you and believe in protection. In addition, the woman continued to challenge the officers without realizing the severity of the incident. She even announced that she would sue the officers for their actions towards her. You're gonna book me? How about him? The one that pisses on my f You put me out of business as he walks free and f***ing pisses on everything. You're ridiculous. Somebody in the Congress, you picked the wrong person. Nancy Pelosi's WI smash into a goddamn car and you're gonna take me downtown and I will destroy you. I know the law. In front of my salon, in front of Park Place, next door to Cafe Intermezzo. That's why they're not, oh, there's so many homeless doing sh and they break in every day. But tomorrow for my employees, my employees, because what? I have a you guys doing about the homeless in Dunwoody? You're gonna lock me up so I can't show up tomorrow? Tell a guy off? Really? I did something great for my life. Yeah, I did it. Go for it. You sleep good tonight, officer. You're nowhere worth Carol was charged with public drunkenness and disturbing public order. She may face a fine of several hundred to several thousand dollars, or a short prison sentence of a few days to a few months, depending on the severity of the act and each state's regulations. In some cases, the court may impose probation or require her to participate in rehabilitation programs to address her behavior. Through the incident, we see that resistance and negative attitudes towards law enforcement can make the situation worse and lead to serious legal consequences. Staying calm and cooperating with the police is important to minimize legal problems. Do you think the woman will realize her mistake after this incident? Let's discuss this before moving on to the next situation. In this situation, we will explore the story of a woman who is arrogant and always believes that money can buy anything, showing disdain for the law. Let's delve deeper into the story. Dollars, ho! Oh. I don't got nothing to spare you! On June 26, 2023, the police received a report from a bar about a woman who was yelling at staff and causing a disturbance. The police promptly arrived at the scene and approached the woman. Um, may I have your ID? What the f is somebody trespassing? Because they don't want you to come back here. Your phone is locked. You're not going to be a be able to get in. May I have your ID? I'm talking about I can't pass it in my phone pass. No. Ma'am. I'm not even trying to talk to y'all. I understand really that. Me neither. I'm trying to talk to y'all. May I get your ID out of here? Ma'am, put the wrong I code. And you're that, about that, to erase that's everything like, on your that's phone. My, my, my. Can I get your ID? Either one. Chanel. What the? C H A N E L. Dali. Hold on, spell your last name. H A. Dali. Ponte. C H A M P E A N C. I'm a badass. I don't. I don't have to talk to you. What is you talking to me for? What is you talking to me for? What is you Faced with the police, the woman continued to hurl offensive remarks and displayed a blatant disregard for those around her. Her arrogance and conceit were evident in every word as she relentlessly criticized and mocked the officers. Stay tuned to follow the unfolding of the story. No! Do you want to talk to him? No, I don't! Okay, just give me your name and we're gonna leave. And you'll leave. I don't give a f what y'all do. You ain't gonna f sit in front of my f police. Where's her? You Can you go inside and just see if they know her name? If she paid my card or something? You want my Because I'm calling police! You didn't call us, they called us. They call I'm not calling nobody. Y'all need to take her ass. Tell you that you're being Wrong verbally party. trespassed here. Wrong party, if, motherfucking. If you do not -E leave, you will be arrested. Wrong they had sex in the back. I know all of that. I talked to him. You have the ass person. They're searching. They're like, you ain't searching you're, nobody. Buddy, West Palm Beach. Man, get your ass on, bro. So if you don't I, leave, I, I, I you've understand. been trespassed. So leave. I, I, Leave. You better not anybody touch Can you leave? If you don't leave, touch, touch 
Touch. All right, so to Thomas, currently 8.59. All right. If you don't cool. leave, by the trespass after that's one. That's cool. Okay? That motherfucker The woman gradually lost control and began to exhibit clear signs of refusing to cooperate with the police. In her anger and loss of composure, she failed to realize that her behavior was bringing her closer to facing criminal charges. In Florida, refusing to cooperate with the police can be considered obstruction of justice or resisting law enforcement. These offenses can result in fines, a maximum imprisonment of up to one year, or both forms of punishment. Do you have your ID on you or anything you like that? Me. Oh, you've been crying with my police. I understand I that. Don't. Look, look, I don't even mess with the police when I'm off work. I get it. I'm talking about who did this police Do you have your ID? Okay, so look, I, you start to get your ID out. Can you grab it for me, please? I will. No I don't fucking with you. I don't. Okay. Bitch, I don't got no problem with you, ho. I don't have no problem with you. Okay. Good. Do you, do you remember you getting your ID? Do you have Dollars, ho. I don't, I don't got nothing in the month to spare you. Good. We good. You were starting to get I your ID. It. I know we good. Right. You were starting, we you were starting to get your ID. I promise I'm you hear you. Okay. I'm, I'm getting my face. You, bro. I'm getting my face, okay? Okay. I ain't finna get on your face. You don't get in my your, face, you bro. Your ID. Don't get Can in you my finish face. getting your ID for me, please? Here. 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 All right, man. So, you, you appear to be young. I don't want you to mess up your life. Well, but you are. Over oh, nothing. I really don't give. Well, I you really will. Don't give. I really don't handcuffs. give. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. That's <laughs> right. Listen. Listen. So. I'm trespassing. All right. Listen. Okay. Listen. Listen. Right. You trespass because the general manager of this business. The property. You're gonna I will. After gathering sufficient information and witnessing the woman's actions and remarks, the police decided to proceed with an arrest. Gradually, the serious consequences she was about to face began to become clear. I am Yes, you are. I am for no arrest. I'm going to I'm not arrest, bro. I'm not arrest, bro. I, I understand. You're sorry. I understand. You want to turn her over? Yeah. No, I'm not. Really, bro? Nine twenty-one, seven. Fifteen, fourteen. Hi, Russell. Just hold it on real quick. Tighten this. Nine twenty-one, seven. Fifteen, fourteen. Five eighty-four. I don't care. Go in South Tavern, 201 South Tavern at the Amtrak. Nothing, just leave. Alright. We're gonna stand you up. Stand up. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. I need my lace on, huh? Very smooth. I really don't even mean to, but it's just I'm like, I'm a, I'm probably late, see you, you feel me? So if you feel yeah. me, I understand. Yeah. I understand. But at the same time, it's like, I, I'm, I'm not even trying to. Un, unordinary bulge right there? Wait, is that medical or, or what? It's, it's medical. Okay. I'm, I'm tr just trying to tell Anything you. Anything on you that we should know about before we go to the Palm Beach County Jail? Yeah. Okay. Good warning, okay? I'm not trying to impress. Let your phone go, please. I'm not trying to You're going to call 911. I'm not trying to impress. I'm trying to impress. What are you press. doing? Relax. Bro. Keep your hands behind your back. In that babe. Like, Have a seat inside. Okay. Turn it over. Um, I'm going to see if I could talk some sense into her and please? give her an NTA. So as of right now, you're it's under so arrest. Listen. You no, have two listen. options. No, 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 no. It's time for you to listen to me. I've been listening to you all day. I can come get you so that you don't have to go to the Palm Beach County Jail today? My friend. Oh, who am I calling? Zero. Who? Zero. Zero? Yeah, her name is um, Zero. Zumari? Yeah. Zumari? Okay. Is this Zumani? 
As soon as the woman was taken to the station, she truly realized her mistakes and felt deep remorse for her actions. This moment marked a significant turning point in the resolution of the case. If you don't go, you can get another charge. No, don't do I that understand. to yourself. Okay, no, so just understand. come with me and it won't be that bad. Be arrested for the, like, listen, I I'm thought listening. it was going to be fucking, but you on the motherfucking get arrested, bro. I'm not that type of person. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not that type of person. Please. Please. Go inside. Turn around. Turn around. Do you have anything sharp that can prove me saving? Said it's medical. But I, I don't know if you can confirm that for me. I'm just gonna look at it. It was a piece of clothing? Yeah, it's just a bra. I'm just gonna check here. Okay. Sex in the bathroom. So. Okay. You have any sex in the bathroom? The woman was arrested and faced serious charges, trespassing after being warned and resisting law enforcement. In Florida, trespassing can result in a fine of up to $500 and or a maximum jail term of 60 days. Resisting law enforcement can lead to fines of up to $1,000 and or imprisonment for up to one year. These offenses not only carry financial and criminal penalties, but also have far-reaching impacts on her personal life and reputation. Maintaining composure and abiding by the law is crucial, as it helps avoid unnecessary troubles and may also minimize the severity of legal consequences. What are your thoughts on the woman's behavior? Share your opinions with us. No, step the f away from me. You no, little wait. Wait. No. Come on. I want shoes. On. Come on. Don't touch me. On March 19, 2023, the Mount Vernon police received information about a suspicious vehicle. They immediately initiated a search and quickly located the car. Everything seemed to be going smoothly until the officers began to approach the vehicle. Hello, how you doing? Hi, how Everything you? okay? Yeah. You were kind of hauling ass through, through town there. What's going on? I'm trying to figure out my s***. You what? Just trying to figure out my s***. Your s***? Okay. Just so you know, I have a body camera recording, audio and okay. video. Okay. You have idea with you? Sure. We had an incident of uh, oh, somebody was calling, somebody was uh, kind of circling yeah, the okay. area. It's advising, we also have a welfare check call that came in. What do you mean? Uh, just your identification. You okay? Yeah. You need some help? No. Where are you living right now? At my mom's house. Your mom's house? Where's your mom's house? In Durrington. Okay. All right. Everything okay though? You haven't been drinking or anything like that? No? It kind of seems like it smells a little alcohol. Is that? Is that? You haven't been drinking? It might be the that I have. I have a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff in here? Yeah. I'm trying to move. I'm trying to come from Alaska. Or I'm trying to go from here from Alaska. Okay. So, so what's actually going on, Matt? Uh, do you have any problems with anybody in the area here? No. Okay. I'm literally just aborting myself and leaving. Okay. After a few minutes of interaction with the woman driving the vehicle, the police noticed several beer bottles inside and a strong smell of alcohol wafting from her car. Okay, well, I, like I said, you was in the area, we're kind of driving a lot of weird, so it kind of caught my attention. I'll go back in that over. area, check, and maybe, yeah, you know, all right, all right. But if you need to park here for a while, that's fine, okay? I'm, say, I'm, I'm literally leaving. If you would like to witness it... No, I, I gotta go check out this other call that Hello? I got to, but you're, you kind of got my attention a little bit. So. Hello? All right, have a good night. Okay, so what's the rest of the story? Because, I didn't you know, call the word we'll check. The, my 911 center got a call from your phone number, and I just dialed the number. I didn't know, I thought it would go to you, but I wasn't I sure. I have no kids. I'm a lesbian. You have no kids? Well, le lesbians can get pregnant still. No. Okay. Uh, no, I literally have no kids. Okay, who's Alicia? I don't know. You don't know who Alicia is? No. Do you have her on the phone? Who's on the phone with you now? Who are you guys had on the phone? Yeah, I thought I... All right. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. A bunch of beer. Probably that's beer right there, too. Yeah, there's one beer. I just picked up my stuff from my girlfriend's house, I promise. Okay, well, where's your girlfriend at? If you just did it, that means that you did it here in town. How do we get a hold of Alicia? Alicia who? Well, your girlfriend. Who's your girlfriend? 
this is my boyfriend that the no, car. No, you, you said you have. A, you say you're a lesbian, okay. and you yeah, say you have a girlfriend. Lesbian, but... well, that's fine. I mean, we're not I'm not having an issue with that. I just want to talk to your your partner. Where's your partner at? The last person that I spoke to that I got this car from was John. Yeah, sure. So we believe that you've been, you know, probably been drinking. We want to make sure you're good to drive. Okay. The car reeks of alcohol. There's alcohol there. There's. Uh... Because it was spilled all over. Okay. Well, really then you shouldn't have any concerns then, right? Hey, so I'm, I'm Officer Spinoza with with Mount Vernon. Uh, just as if you're being audio record, okay. What, what was your first name, ma'am? Haley. Haley. Okay. So I I see the the beer in the back. I see. What beer? What's that? What beer? Can you look at me for a second? So I look at I I mean there's a, a bunch of beer over here. It looks like there's a can right there. You don't have to reach for anything or anything like that. I'm not reaching for yeah, anything. We can just have a conversation. We're just making sure that you're okay to drive uh, for yourself and, and other people. Okay. Okay. Do you live here? No. Where are you from? I'm from Darrington. You're from Darrington. What are you doing over here in Mount Vernon? I was just trying to pick up this car. You pick up this car from who? Dakota. Dakota. Who's Dakota, man? New Baker. Dakota New Baker. I don't know who that is. If you can look it up. How old are you by chance? 23. You're 23. Okay. Yes, I'm. To verify the woman's level of sobriety, the police requested that she perform several tests. However, she became increasingly tense and anxious. It's so let me let me ask you: Have you been drinking today? I mean, I have had a couple. But I was just trying to get home. What does what does a couple mean to you? Can you just focus on me, please? I because uh, it's just it's just a safety thing, right? Do you, yeah. do you have any weapons in the car at all? No. Just focus on talking to me for right now. We don't have to be digging or looking around in the car. Okay? How about that? So you said that you've had a couple. What does that mean? Like a tall boy. Too. Like a tall boy? Are you referring to that tall boy in the back there? You don't have to reach, but there's like a it looks like a Bud Light or something like that. Or I honestly don't that know what's in the back. Okay. I really don't. Just one tall boy or how much? Just one. I promise. Okay. I really was just trying to say it. My sister was supposed to come get me. What time was the last time you drank? Like, your last drink, what time was that at? Not that long ago. Okay. Like, how long ago would you say? Right now, it's 2.28. A really long time ago, just because I have my water bottle right here and you, have something yeah. in it. Do you mind? Do you, do you mind just setting that down? Yeah. What time was your last drink, ma'am? Like, 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock? Okay. And other than alcohol, have you, have you smoked, like, any cannabis today? No? Okay. Have you... Have I mean... I smoke cannabis on a regular, like, okay. like just for insomnia. For example, okay, have you smoked today? No. Okay, when's the last time you smoked weed? For a while. What does that mean? <laughs> like 24 hours, I don't know. 24 hours? I wasn't like intoxicated at okay. all. Do you feel like you're okay to drive right now? Yeah. Uh, okay. I just, yeah, I just need my, yeah. can I drink some water? Let's hold off on the water for right now, just so you can talk to me, okay? And I'm trying to talk to you, but yeah. I just wanted all my stuff. Yeah. I knew this was going to happen. So you said you were coming from Darrington, and you are yes, coming sir. to pick up the car. Where was the car at? At the shipyard. Where's that at? Um. Can you, we refrain from drinking water right now? Hi. Because I'm asking you to. So, I'm, I'm asking you not to, okay? Just work with me here. We're just going through the, he the process here, okay? Do you understand? Okay. So, in order to make sure you're okay to drive, would you be willing to do some voluntary field sobriety tests for me? Is that, is, can you verbally say yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes? Okay, perfect. Do you want to just step out of the vehicle then? That's okay. Can we set your keys down over here for me, please? Do you have any weapons on you by chance? No? Okay. Alright, do you mind if I check you for weapons just to make sure because you're digging? Just face the car real quick. I was just trying to flip my... Okay. It's just standard. Just let me check you for weapons real quick. Can you back up just a little bit from the car just so I can reach your waistband? There you go. Nope. Nothing around your chest there. Let's have you go... Say that again? Keep going? No, that's okay. Let's no, I don't want it. Okay. <laughs> Ma'am? What, what's going on? <laughs> you can talk to me for a second. All we're trying to do is make sure you're okay to drive. I'm fine. Okay. I literally was just sitting here waiting for my sister. That's it. Do you get that when we start drinking, getting a little unsafe and a little dangerous? That's in our it's job. It's not even the drinking or anything. Okay. I've literally been 23 for how long? I, I don't know. What, what, when's your birthday? May 16th. May 16th. 2000. Okay. In two months. Sounds good. I'm going to raise three fingers. Can you blow into the tips of your of my fingers, please? At like just just continuously, a little hard up here, a little hard. Okay, sounds good. 
All right, let's get to a flat surface. It's kind of uneven right here. Let's come, come over right over here. Perfect. Right there. So you can just stand, just relax for a second. Do you have any medical conditions that I could be aware about? ADHD. ADHD? Okay, but nothing else medically going on with you? Nothing that I know of. Nothing it's you know? I haven't got... Do you wear contacts at all? I mean, I wear glasses a little bit, but I haven't got... You wear glasses, okay. If I lift my finger, or if I lift my pen like from right here, do you think you'd be able to see the tip? I can see the tip. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. You don't wear any contacts. Um, are you under the care of a dentist or a doctor for any reason? Nothing like that? Okay. Besides, I have a root canal. Okay. I think it's <laughs> I gotcha, I gotcha. Any any recent head trauma, car accidents, things like that? Not honestly, really, no. Okay. So for this first test, what I want you to do is I want you to stand with your feet uh, touching, heels and toes. Just relax your arms down at your side and just stay like that, okay? Mm -hmm. So you see the my pen? Right there? You see it? Okay, so for this test, what I want you to do is I want you to follow the tip of my pen with your eyes and eyes only without moving your head. Do you understand? If my tailbone is broken? How would that affect this test? Like, are you referring to your ability to stand or what? I'm just saying that it starts to hurt me at a certain point. Well, if it does, you can you just let me know, okay? Okay. But do you think you can stand with your feet together and follow my, the tip of my pen with your eyes? Just like that, relax your arms down at your side. So like I said, for this test, what you're going to do is you're going to follow the tip of my pen with your eyes and your eyes only without moving your head. Do you understand? Can you understand that? Follow my pen, okay? Without moving your head. Don't fall over on me. Fall into my pen. Fall into my pen. You're okay. You're doing fine. Are you okay? Do you think you can continue this test or? Yeah, okay. And try to open your eyes a little bit wider for me, okay? Okay, yeah. If you need to rub your eyes, that's fine. So just take a deep breath. Do you want to take a deep breath? Will that make you, maybe help you calm down? What's that? Do you want Do you want to continue the test or not? Yeah? Okay. Let's stand again with your heels and toes touching. Arms down at your side, okay? That, do you mind just doing them down on your side, please? Okay. Alright, we're gonna go up, okay? Keep looking at my pen. All the way up, all the way up. Hold it there. Alright, you get there. Alrighty, let's come over right over here. Step out a little bit so it's a little more flat. So, can you face that direction for me, please? Yeah, there you go. So, for this test, what I want you to do is I want you to imagine a straight line out in front of you. Can you do that for me? So, just imagine a straight line. Do this with... What's that? Like gymnastics? Yeah, like with the bean bar? Sure. So imagine a straight line out in front of you. Well, I don't I don't want to be in the middle of the road because that's unsafe. Can I like take off my shoes though? Yeah. These you, like are not even like the same size, nothing. Well, I I d I don't want to go through all that, ma'am. Let's just you, you can you can tell me not I mean if you don't want to do this test, you can tell me I that too. Do this test it's not that. Let's let's go to the sidewalk where it's a little flatter. You wanna do that? Can we do that? This is a lot more flat. Alrighty, can you just stand right here for me? Yep, just face down this way for me. There you go. Just face no, the way you were facing down this way, ma'am. Just stand right here for me. The one shoe's not tight though. If you want to tie your shoe, you can do that. Do you want to tie your shoe or not? No? Okay, can you stand on this side for me and face the opposite way? Perfect. So for this test, what I want you to do is I want you to imagine a straight line out in front of you. You're going to start by putting your left foot on that imaginary straight line. Directly in front, you're going to put your right foot touching heel to toe. Can you put your heel touching... Nope. I'm not asking you to start. I'm trying to get you in the starting position, okay? So again, left foot on that imaginary straight line. Do it with me now. Left foot. Directly in front. That's your right, ma'am. Do your left. Yep. Directly in front, you're going to do your right touching heel to toe. Do it with me now. Put your arms down at your side. I can't do it though. Do you wanna do you wanna continue doing this test or not, ma'am? I do. Yeah? Okay, if, if you can or anything like that, we can always it's bypass just... it. I just want for at all. Okay. If you... Okay. So that's perfectly fine. Put your arms down at your side. Okay, and you're gonna stay in this position until I tell you yep. So your left has your right has to go in front of your left, ma'am. Yeah, just stay just like that. Arms down at your side. Stay in that position until I tell you to start the test. You understand? Okay. And just get back in there, okay? I just... Okay. I'm trying. How about this? Let's, let's go do the other test. Let's go do another test, okay? So for this next test, what I want you to do is I want you to stand with your uh, feet together, heels and toes touching. Do it with me now. Uh, arms down at your side, okay? Just stay like that. Like that? Yeah, perfect. So don't I'm move... Sorry. You're fine. 
So just don't move from this position until I tell you to start the test. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. So when I tell you to start the test, you're going to raise one foot, either foot of your choosing, approximately six inches off the ground, keeping it uh, parallel to the ground, okay? For this test, you're going to look at that raised foot with your eyes. You're going to count out loud in the following manner. 1,001, 1,002, and so on. 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008. Just let me finish. You're going to count that way until I tell you to start, stop the test. You're going to keep your arms down at your side, and again, keep that raised foot approximately six inches off the ground if that foot comes down at any point in the test just pick it back up and continue the test okay so i'm going to demonstrate what this needs to look like okay the police provided her with multiple opportunities to complete the tests but she was not sober enough to perform well this led to unintended consequences in the near future in mount vernon failing to complete a sobriety test can result in serious repercussions including arrest suspension of the driver's license and criminal charges such as driving under the influence dui with penalties like fines, jail time, and mandatory participation in treatment programs. Additionally, you may have to pay for damages if an accident occurs and face difficulties in obtaining car insurance with higher premiums. Can you focus on me for a sec? So you're gonna go right there. So it's gonna look like it's gonna it needs to look like this: 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, and so on until I tell you to stop. Okay? How is this fair though? It's it's it's, like it's uh. It's a it's a test that, that we do. It's it's a standardized test. I mean, there's 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 research about it that, that helps us do our job. Okay. So, do you understand the instructions to my test? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you have any confusion or questions about it? Let's What's get... gonna happen when I fail? I'm gonna make my determination to see if you're gonna be okay to drive or not. So, what about if my house is right? Across the street or something. We're not gonna worry about that right now, okay? Can you get back in that starting position? He was on toes touching. Can you, you show me where again? He was on toes touching just like this. Arms and your side, okay? Do you need me to demonstrate the test again? One more time. One more time, yeah. You're gonna raise one foot, either foot approximately six inches off the ground. If they ask you to? When I when I when, I when I tell you to start the test. Okay. You're gonna keep your eyes on that raised foot the whole time. You're gonna count out loud in the fall.